Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the third episode number five and six reaction. Okay, um, the previous two episodes, um, the first uh, episode number three, it was an episode with a new character. I think her name was Linda, and you know it was like a very weird type of, of an episode with like you know stuffs happening which had no reason for happening because like for example like uh, suddenly fujiko shooting the boat like i'm still not sure why what that was about that and then like you know a few other stuff which was kind of abrupt and you know like sudden but at the same time it was pretty entertaining you know seeing uh, and sad as well in the end of it you know like when the whole thing uh like reveals itself what linda actually is and all that stuff the doctor and everything and how the doctor had to you know like um put her out of her misery all that stuff like it was sad and that was something like you know that was an experience that was episode three episode four i have to say is probably one of the best episodes in rupan altogether you know i'm i'm, I'm taking into account all the movies as well because uh episode four truly was something i was not expecting and like i don't know what to say like the whole plot was so well together like you know thought out and rupan really showed his intelligence here and we like you know sometimes we get to see a glimpse of his intelligence in the other movies and all the other you know shows uh the tv specials and everything we get to see glimpses of his intelligence but i think episode four probably shows that like you know his intelligence in his full glory like making such a long-winded plan and actually pulling it out uh like you know uh no what, what do you call it actually uh, succeeding in doing it uh doing it is something that obviously like you know needs a lot of preparation a lot of patience a lot of strategy lots of intelligence and like bravo i have to say that was really one of the best episodes i loved the whole thing that he did like, you know making like you know turning the whole uh thing around and like you know tricking zenigata by the end of it <laughs> even though you know his performance fell a little bit short but still so yeah that was fantastic episode four was just amazing so yeah let's see what this episode brings uh, today i'll be reacting to episode five and six uh, now I'm going to react to episode 5. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Troubled man, troublesome old man. Okay, let's see what this episode is about. What is... Whoa. What? Is that an automatic shopping machine? What is that? Lock shopping machine? Oh. Okay, this is the first time we're meeting Goemon in this... Um, I mean, in this anime. Oh, that's what he's doing. Okay. Nice. Ha! It's so fast that everything's like... Ah, I got... Another... 
Oh my god. Sumaran mono kitte shimatta. Ah. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> this is how they meet? Hero entertainment. Oh. Yeah, he'll be like, I'm a samurai. I don't do stuff like that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, what is Zupan's plan? Why is he doing this? Is he like testing him or something? <laughs> okay. That's why you're doing this? Like, just because he's a show off? Ooh. <laughs> he's like, wow, we found a real deal here. He's not showing off. This is the real deal. Wow. Goemon the third. Just Sandai Goemon Tojo. Yeah, not third, sorry, thirteenth. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Yeah, it's what is it called? I forgot. Or Zantetsken, Zantetsken. Famous Masamune sword rules. Oh, wow. I did not know that. That's why Zantetsuken. Three stilled uh, sword, something like that. I guess the meaning. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I knew this was coming. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's like, yep. I got this. I got this. Oh! Oh! Oh, is this food? Is, is it? No, I think it's something else. Yeah, I think it's Fujiko. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, so sh she's not oh great. She's tricking him like this. Oh. oh my god, come on, stop, Ruban. Goemon's going to come and. S what the? Wait, she also has a.
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, he found out. Okay. Wait, what? Then why were you? Oh, he's doing this on an order. Okay. <laughs> uh. Well, obviously it's your sword. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, good. Run. Kick <laughs> off his shoes. Oh my god. Oh no, he's, he's closing in. Oh. Wait, why is he? <laughs> Tatami man flip. Okay. Okay, what is it? Whoa, what? Is that... What is that? Chloroform or something? No. Liquid diesel? Oh my god! <laughs> oh! oh! I'm sorry, I should have laughed at this, but the way he did it. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Mo Momochi the killer. Dead God of Iga. My god. What? Oh. Oh no, is it? Yeah, is it? Oh no. Wait, he doesn't know? Goemon doesn't know that? That he... This guy is one of the... Criminal? Okay. <clears throat> He's meditating. Leave him alone. Wait, what the... Wait, what's happening? Oh, wait, is he... Is he trying to bring down his master? Wait, 
it. Oh, he didn't even know that it was. Oh, he was trying to lure in Rupan or something. Oh no. He was trying to lure in Rupan. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, right, you know, <laughs> exactly. Huh. <laughs> 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 You're lying. I don't believe that. <laughs> oh, oh, great. This, this girl. <laughs> Obviously, that not, that's not how going on acts. Uh. Wow, what's she trying to do now? Oh my god. It's actually the reverse. <laughs> Great. Wow. Oh. I wonder what she's planning. Like, why is she at the beginning? She's <coughs> with going on, and then she's trying to take him down. Why? I doubt she's going to do that. But you know, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> Did she tell that to Goemon? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is happening? I like... Oh, did, did, was Fujiko hired by him? I think so. Yeah. <coughs> Oh. He realized the woman is underneath.
Wow, what a, what a story. My god, the story. Oh wow. No, <laughs> he realized. <laughs> nice. What is that? Oh, that's why. Okay, so at the beginning, he just was like, you know, teaching him. Then he realized that how strong Goemon became and Oh. oh no. Yeah, right. <laughs> what the <laughs> 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 Oh god. Is Rupan hiding inside that or something? I wouldn't be surprised if she is, he is. Oh my god. That's true. Oh no. <laughs> If Jigen shoots the balloon. Oh no, Rupan is going to shoot it, okay. Wow, he didn't even need to look at it. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, where's Fujiko? <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. If he tries to slash that it's gonna blow up. What the what is that? Oh no. Wait, what? Is that? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, he's just filming that? What? How? Oh my god, here we go. That's how she's going to... Ha <laughs> 
Well. Oh, I think the butterfly will be. Ooh, nice. Wow, that's how much of a master he is. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the end. <laughs> For a moment, I thought the butterfly will be unharmed, and then I <laughs> see the butterfly also. You know? Yeah, the butterfly also becoming two. Okay, anyways, um. <coughs> <coughs> so here we meet <coughs> Goemon. Now, so the way they met is because of a misunderstanding. Um, and the reason why they want to kill uh, Goemon wants to kill Rupan is also because of a, not a misunderstanding, but because of uh, <coughs> a false um, no uh, of because of his master. His master gave him the um mission to defeat rupa and his master had already had the plan of you know taking down goemon at the same time as well so that was basically the reason why he wants to take rupa's life which like i remember in i think it was um, ishikawa no, was it yeah ishikawa goemon's spray of blood the the first scene when uh, <coughs> Zenin, uh not Zenin, uh, sorry uh, goemon meets rupa He's like, oh, uh, Rupan, I'm going to kill you, like, or something like that, like, uh, you know, like, uh, yeah, you'll be defeated by my hands, or something like that, he said. Where, where I got the impression that, yeah, maybe their first meeting was probably not, not that good. I thought, like, maybe something happened, maybe, as usual, like, you know, Rupan tricking people and making people falling, like, you know, uh, throwing people into trouble. I thought maybe Rupan did something like that, that's why, uh, like, you know, Goemon is pissed off at him. And that's why he wants to kill him but uh, from this episode it turns out that it's not something like that it's basically because of his master that you know his master said that oh kill lupan and now if now obviously after meeting lupan i'm sure like you know <laughs> like you know the way he does stuff and a few other things probably did not sit so well with him and as he said like you know like there's no this world has no need for to uh, uh like you know to assassins or something yeah he says something like that um so i'm going to defeat you <clears throat> that thing in itself as well is probably another reason why he's so ad so adamant at mm, defeating lupan even though he realizes now that his master basically wanted him to do that so that he can take out both goemon and lupan at the same time and he could become the so-called um you know undefeated or something <clears throat> so yeah even though he knows that you know like he he still has like that type of a uh, thought process that yeah i'm like you know i'm the best samurai here i'm the best killer i'm the best uh, assassin so i need to defeat rupan <laughs> which obviously as we see time goes on in the movies and everything we see like you know little by little it kind of goes away as uh, goemon really like you know starts helping him out uh, from time to time <clears throat> for example i think in uh, goemon's spray of blood in itself it was kind of shown you know how i'm guessing it, it was also like the turning point of their relationship because if you guys remember in ishikawa goemon's spray of blood um in the end in the ending scene um, rupan and like you know jigen kind of helps out uh goemon in a way to defeat hawk not like you know, obviously he did, they did not directly help but you know they, they were there with him and all that stuff so after that he says something like I owe you guys one you know I'll do something for you and obviously after that Zenigata comes in and Rupan and Jigen were like you know what <laughs> let's just cash that in stop Zenigata uh, for for us don't let us get like you know let him get us and you know like then Goemon faces Zenigata um, that whole scene like you know like in the beginning of the sh uh, episode Goemon was like I'll defeat you Lupin but in the end he, he actually like you know accepts uh, and says that okay like I'll, I'll help you guys out this time at least so I'm guessing like you know I'm, I'm probably after that you know like as time goes on Zengata probably mellows out uh, not Zengata sorry um, Goemon Goemon uh, mellows out little by little and he generally like you know starts helping them <clears throat> so and becomes their friends <coughs> 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 
So yeah, okay. Um, this episode, um, <laughs> another shocking thing that happened here is like their meeting, not shocking, but amusing thing is that their meeting was really amusing as <clears throat> basically Rupan and Jigen, they were kind of scouting him out. They were like, you know what I've heard of a samurai who's like, you know, who's kind of a show off. Rupan was like, you know what, Jigen, let's go, you know, and let's teach him who is the you know boss or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's why when in the beginning he was like oh i'm from the scout it's gonna i'm, I'm typing down scouting talent so <clears throat> this person here he can shoot very fast so why don't you two have a duel and <laughs> and <clears throat> in his mind rupan was like <clears throat> like let's like you know jigan will teach you like who is the like you know like not to be a show off again <clears throat> but then when he slashes off the um uh, bullets Ruban was like wow so <laughs> he is not showing off he's he's a real one <clears throat> and I've always always wondered why you know uh, Goemon's uh, uh, sword is so strong like how so he kind of explains that here um, <clears throat> where where is it okay uh, Ruban says I've seen your uh, sword is very strong it must be one of those really famous souls, right? And Goemon says that... <clears throat> okay, Kotetsu. <clears throat> that's the first sword. Um, um, the great sword fought by Goro Shikani Komatsu from Kaga. Masamune. Okay. Okay, Kotetsu, Yoshikane, and Masamune. Um, I think I've heard of Kotetsu somewhere before. I don't remember where. I have heard of the, that sword. Um, Yoshikane, this is the first time I'm hearing its name. Masamune, obviously Masamune is quite famous. <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, so after melting together all these uh, three legendary blades, the new sword was born, which is, I think... Uh, his sword uh, is now called Zantetsken. Zantetsken, in I think it probably roughly translate like three uh, steel blade or something like that. Like Zan, I think Zan can also be called Sun, like three. And Tetsu, Tetsu means steel. No, Tetsu means iron. Uh, Hagane is steel. Yeah, uh, Zantetsu uh, Ken. Ken is obviously sword. So I'm guessing that's the rough translation of Zantetsu Ken. Which basically means three, like you know, three swords melded together, like to make make one sword. Like interesting, I, I I never knew that, and they kind of explains how his sword is able to completely, <laughs> like you know, uh, completely um, sever or like you know, cut a whole plane. <laughs> That's the explanation. So okay, and. <clears throat> And here we meet Fujiko again. Obviously, Fujiko is up to no good again. You know, she <laughs> she probably like you know she was like you know planning something else behind their back. And <laughs> Goemon's like, oh, meet this is my girlfriend. <laughs> my God. So <laughs> wow. Okay. So <laughs> and then obviously like you know like they had a little fight and um Goemon was able to realize from the beginning that that's rupan and <clears throat> like when rupan says that not like you know don't be so prideful like you know your sword is not the only sharp thing here um like yeah i have to like you know agree like not only his like you know like obviously like if you use your intelligence in a better way like your your brain can be sharper than any sword so like you know rupan was able to kind of show that in a way unfortunately it kind of backfired again like <laughs> like all these like you know most of the time i see rupan kind of like you know coming up with really cool stuff really intelligent stuff but by the end of it it kind of backfires <laughs> you know the previous episode as well where he comes up with such a great plan and he's able to be successful but unfortunately in the end his luck does not help him out he just like you know like <laughs> Uh, Zenigata realizes that's Rupan and here as well he he brings out a like you know like a gasoline or what no what was it called what fuel did he say something um oh here we go uh liquid fuel okay 
so it immediately like i guess uh, it oxidizes or something from the oxygen in the air and just <laughs> catches on fire and he uses that to defeat goemon but yeah goemon also kind of <laughs> puts him on fire as well so yeah that was that now <clears throat> this part i was really confused i was like why was he sitting down and listening to a tape recorder of fujiko i'm like what's happening here and then i was like wait a minute is he does he know that his master is one of the like you know <clears throat> biggest you know uh wanted criminals and he wants to defeat him or something but then i realized that no he's actually trying was doing that to lure in rupan he was trying to he was doing that because he thought rupan is going to come and that's why he almost you know, attacked his master, not realizing that's not Rupan. <clears throat> and then obviously Fujiko up to no good again goes to Rupan and she's like, oh help me. <laughs> Going on is a pervert. <laughs> and you know, both of them like starts fighting against each other. <clears throat> we get to know the <clears throat> master's actual plan. He's like, you know what? Like, you know, like, I, I, I must be the best. So obviously the people who are better than me, let's just both take both of them out. Then I'll be the best. And that's why he, he uh, hired Fujiko. And here's the thing. I'm sure Fujiko knew that Rupan wouldn't be defeated at that. That's why she probably <coughs> took that, you know, <coughs> request. And she was like, yeah, Rupan will be fine. I'm sure of it. And let's just, you know... <laughs> like you know uh, earn some ca fast cash with this and uh, yeah but anyways um so yeah uh <clears throat> we get to know the actual plan goemon listens to all of that his master did try to kind of you know weasel out of that situation he was like oh like yeah like i knew that like you know uh, <laughs> there will be two people person who will be you know very strong and you know i had to do this because what did he say he, he, he started making a very i don't know like <laughs> such a great tale he started like you know narrating yeah uh, here you go goemon was to become the organization's enemy someday in the near future that's why he had to be killed before it was too late and since i am his master i thought that you know what yeah i'm going to defeat him like wow such a such a great tale brings tear to your eyes <laughs> I thought Goemon would probably be fooled with that, but he did not. That's good. He was like, nope, you're, you're lying, you know. You're trying to weasel out of the situation. <clears throat> and, <laughs> like, he takes Fujiko hostage, and I guess Fujiko ran away after that because they did not show her after that. I thought, I, for a moment, I thought he took, he's taking Fujiko with him, but then I was like, no. Fujiko probably ran away after that somewhere. <clears throat> But yeah, he was on the balloon, going away, Rupan shoots him, uh, not him, but the b uh, balloon. And that's the end of him. And then the whole situation kind of spirals out of control. Both Rupan and Goemon starts fighting in the middle of the road, <laughs> you know, jumping on top of cars. And they basically blow the whole, whole road up. And they do say that no one was, like, you know, found dead. But I don't know how that was possible, but, you know. Uh, good thing that no one ended up like you know dead and Fujiko took advantage of that and you know took a video of that and had after that made a lot of money so yeah so in the end what happens Fujiko wins that's just what happens and everyone else loses <laughs> so yeah okay so that was uh, episode number uh, five so let's start with episode number six uh, and yeah so without further ado let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here link it to whichever is your preference uh, preference and let's start okay so here's the countdown three two one go hmm Point three seconds. That means in the previous episode, <clears throat> Jigen 
shot three shots in a second and Guemon was able to <clears throat> slice them off wow Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Okay, it's raining. Wow, it's heavy rain. That's Ruban's a place, yeah. <laughs> what? Ruban, wait, what? Someone put it on his back? Um, who are you? What? What what type of name is that? <laughs> Your face is not appetizing. Uh. Rup <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rupan's like a little kid. He's like, can I go, Jingan? And Jingan's like, yeah, go, go, go ahead. It's like asking permission from your mom or dad. <laughs> oh no, is this a trap? Like. <laughs> I feel like this is a trap. He's going to crash the whole car or something. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what? Oh, it's Fujiko. Oh, great. So he he's a client. Rainy afternoons are dangerous. I'm in a go go by Yaba Ize. <laughs> okay. Wait, who? <laughs> That's why Fujiko. Oh, God. That's why Fujiko used her handwriting too. Okay, let's hear what he wants. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Don't joke. Okay. <laughs> mm. Change of pace, you know? Change of pace. <laughs> what? Um, I doubt <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen <laughs> Kids me <laughs> Uh Whoa Oh my god What the Oh my god, it's coming back Right, Jigan, let's 
There you go. Ooh. Ooh. That was cool. Duck. And you. Do you know him? Was he your patient or something? Oh, Kamaitachi, Phantom Weasel. Okay. Oh my God. Hmm. Before his memory loss. Oh. Oh no, she's. Oh my god, I think she actually wants to know something. Probably this guy has, like, you know, some kind of information. Fujiko wants to know that. That's why she's, like, you know. Hiring people to investigate about his past so that he starts remembering stuff or something. No, wait. Yeah, what's happening? Yeah. Where's where's kids meal? Oh wait, whoa, oh <laughs> Yeah. How did he survive? Dragon Mandala. Hmm. That's Oh, the doctor's like, well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay. doctor um i'm just a doctor who came to operate on you i don't i didn't know this was going to, oh great he's dead now great wow was he trying to hide oh that's why he attacked them And now the boss is dead. Yeah, that's the question. Yeah, probably something related to her. Oh! Wait, so does she... <laughs> yeah. No, so then why would he she still stay here? She would have run away after killing him. Um Well, 
obviously. Yeah, like what else do you expect, Rupan? Um. <laughs> oh my god, wow. What if you kill the boss? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, I think there is a chance he killed him. Wait, oh. Oh my god! That's not how you... Okay, you know what? Better you use this way. I was going to say that's not how you use a gun, but... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is a better... Ah... Okay, is going Goemon going to come? What's with this music? What? Wait, what? Wait, what's happening? Are those disguises? Wait, why? Yeah. <laughs> Rock. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> no, let's yeah, let's just do it for the sake, you know. <laughs> yeah. Password. Yeah, you also have to say. <laughs> yep. What? what? Wait, who's this? Wait, what's happening? Why is she twitching?
Oh no! Yeah, like you're also going to be Oh, he's it's one of the okay. Oh, it's kids meal, okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm guessing. Okay. Oh my god, if Zenigata realizes that Rupan is here, he'll be like, yeah, you, you guys go ahead. I'll be staying here. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. Why? Oh, okay. Okay. All right, here they are. Up. Nice. Oh, that's oh, that's right. Oh, my God, that's how they did it. Okay. Now they're going to uh, like you know search the body and then again meet back up. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't trust Tatsu. Like that guy. Okay. Wait, what? You're realizing now? Okay. There must be something. Oh, Star of Kilimanjaro. Okay. 
Yeah, let's just put it back like Okay, there you go. That's just doing his job. Okay, trying to make the switch up. Oh no. Okay, okay, come on. Nice! Ah! Oh, great. I knew it. I knew it. He was working for... Th that's why I said. Well, obviously. What else did you accept? Wait. When did he realize? My god, Zenigata's... Oh no. Oh! <laughs> I wonder if that's a fake one. I will. Like, you know, like, I. Maybe Rupan. Changed it? Oh, maybe not. Like, I remember Rupan doing these type of things before as well, you know, like... Like, changing stuff and giving it to Fujiko. And when Fujiko realized that she's like, oh, this is a fake one. So I thought maybe he did that this time as well, but no. Anyways. Okay, that's the end. Wow, so <laughs> both this episode, Fujiko won. Like, in, even in the previous episode, she got that, like, you know, the diamond in this episode as well. He got another diamond. Like, <laughs> wow. Um, like, usually, like, you know, like, at least I'm accustomed, at least in the movies, I'm accustomed to seeing neither of them winning anything by the end of it. Like, you know, them losing everything. Uh, sometimes they actually win, but still that's in the very minority or even if they like you know are able to uh like you know gain a lot of mon uh, money it's not a lot but it's a little bit of money but seeing like you know these two episodes fujiko basically like tricked them in like you know in, in these both episodes and were able to uh grab the diamond for herself okay so here in this episode this episode i have to say kind of weird in, in little bits like you know in little parts i was really um unsure what was happening like for example like you know like the, the whole thing with tatsu like now i kind of realized what happened in that scene and tatsu suddenly goes to like you know like suddenly attacks rupan you know he goes out tries to catch fujiko and then like you know he comes back and he's like ah oh, i'll join you guys and the like that's not the surprising part the surprising part is rupan actually let him join I was like, what's happening? Why is he allowing him? Didn't he just smack him on his head with the gun? And, you know, I was like, what, like, and then I thought, like, maybe Rupan is actually realizes, like, you know, and it's, uh, like, you know, uh, is uh, making a trap for them. Maybe he realizes that Tatsu is probably, like, I, from the beginning, I kind of realized Tatsu is up to no good because, you know, she, she suddenly goes out, like, you know, chases Fujiko. And then after he comes back, he's like, yeah, I'll help you guys out. Like, what's up with that? Obviously, Fujiko probably, like, you know, told something to him, said something like, oh, we can, like, you know, share this and all that stuff. And <laughs> Tatsu's like, yeah, let's do that. And that's why he tricked them here. Now, like, obviously, I thought, like, you know, Rupan was able to realize that. And he knowingly let him join. So that in the end he could actually like, you know, turn the tables on them. But by the end of it we see he does nothing. He even like you know like looks like when Tatsu says that oh look at the other side or something. Like you know he looks at the other side and <laughs> no Tatsu doesn't tell that. Fujiko says that. And Tatsu throws that um, d diamond to Fujiko. <laughs> now here's the thing. Um, the thing about Tatsu I feel like if Goemon did not shoot him. 
I think Fujiko probably would have like you know kicked him out of his her bike sooner or later. That's what she would probably do. <laughs> so I was actually waiting for Fujiko to kick him out, but before that, Goemon shoots. Uh, not Goemon, sorry. Uh, Jigen shoots him, and. Uh, yeah, okay, so here in this episode, uh, quite a few things happen. Um, I have to say this episode was a little bit complicated to understand, especially with the sudden cuts that were happening. Like, I've, I've, like I'm noticing this, especially in the first, like, these are the initial episodes of Lupin. Uh, these episodes, they're the way they actually cut the different scenes a kind of uh, unpolished in a way. Like, you know, they suddenly cut a scene and then suddenly start another scene which makes like you know like like which is kind of a little bit weird sometimes um for example as i said the whole linda episode the cuts were so weird like i actually had <laughs> trouble figuring out what was happening you know like they're in the middle of doing something and suddenly that they cut that like you know uh, scene and another scene starts and i'm like wait what's happening was something else was happening here a moment ago and now this is happening <laughs> But, you know, like this episode was also kind of like that in a few, like, you know, portions, uh, for example, uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, in the beginning, let's start from the beginning. In the beginning, uh, someone called Kid's Meal <laughs> um, uh, brings Rupan and Jigen to this person. Fujiko hires them to find what happened to, uh, you know, his memory. And Tatsu tried to kill him because obviously the boss told him that, you know, like if try if, if someone tries to find something out about my memory, kill them. Now, one thing I have to say, um, it's still mysterious. Like here's the thing, um, Rupan goes to like you know after uh, that whole fight with Tatsu. And he goes to the doctor, the doctor realizes that, oh, this person, this person, uh, you know, I had an acquaintance who went to do the surgery and then he went missing. And Rupan kind of, you know, pieces things together. He goes to Fujiko and Fujiko says that he's dead. Now, this is the portion that is an actual mystery. In the later portion, we actually get to know uh, from Tatsu himself that um, the person, like, you know, uh, the guy, the, the main boss, he he did this to hide something and he even decided to remove his own memory because you know for precautional reasons because i'm sure like you know he maybe thought that oh if i get captured and who, who knows maybe if, if they use truth serum on me like you know i can probably like you know just give all the secrets out so let's just remove my memory as well but one thing that's a little bit confusing is like if he actually removes his memory what would he even do with the diamond because he wouldn't even have the memory of having the diamond so that's one thing that's kind of bothering me but anyways <laughs> like I, i'm kind of being bothered by what was his actual plan like what did he even plan to do with the diamond if he actually removes his memory of it like like then what uh oh maybe maybe he just like you know maybe he was waiting uh for I don't know a lot of time to pass and then if he finds out about the diamond then after that he will sell it or something maybe something like that he had a plan i'm not sure but there was something he was planning unfortunately we don't know what that is now that he's dead but yeah he he basically removed his memory he decided to remove the doctor's memory as well the doctor tried to run away but he died obviously and the guy the main guy uh, the main boss he told Tatsu to try to to kill anyone who tries to get to see my mem uh, try to find my memory. The time limit was six months. Oh, okay. Now I realize what he was trying to do. Okay, uh, yeah, I realize now that I'm saying it's the time limit is six months. I realize what he was trying to do. Um, it had a time limit, six months. So he basically was actually waiting for I'm guessing the heat to die down or something, you know. And then after six months, he automatically will regain his memories. And uh, by that time, the heat will probably would have died down and, you know, like uh, no one, like, you know, like would know anything about the diamond. And after he regains his memory, he would, you know, like probably sell that thing and something like that, I guess. So. Okay, let me just.
yeah now half a year or six months passed now here's the thing the actual mystery that i've been saying from for quite a while ago uh, the actual mystery is did who killed him like it the way uh, rupan actually um narrates the situation she, he's like uh here it is um tatsu's like tatsu's like no wait was it tatsu or was it jigen anyways if the boss regained his memory before he died it's tatsu rupan is like i see and he goes to fujiko and he's like someone might have had the chance to learn his secret don't be ridiculous rupan not at all we are serious that's right maybe this time we need to put F F fujiko in the machine <laughs> she goes up crying oh my god the acting okay now here's the thing um obviously it's very apparent that fujiko realized what was the secret that it was a diamond that's why she she suddenly like you know said that oh don't cremate the body she knew that and it was most probably the boss told her that you know after he regained his memory or he was she was somehow able to gain that information from him the thing here that's the actual mystery is who killed him then was it fujiko i'm guessing it's probably fujiko who killed who killed uh, the boss otherwise who else would even kill him like i doubt that's tatsu because tatsu himself did not know anything about the diamond you know unless and until uh, the later part when fujiko basically hires him so it was not tatsu the only person who was there was uh, i'm guessing kids meal was probably also there and um fujiko so yeah i'm 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 not sure but it's probably fujiko but anyways it's not shown who killed that guy it's something that's i'm guessing left into left to our interpretation so yeah anyways and then obviously tasu like you know points a gun at rupan hits him fujiko runs away tasu follows her and then suddenly he comes back and he's like ah i lost fujiko you know nothing i can do about it and like that's the time i like you know i suddenly suspected i was like wait a minute this guy's suspicious like he suddenly goes out then comes back he's like no fujiko is not here he's stuttering when asked about fujiko i think when rupan asked like what happened to fujiko he's stuttering he's like oh well oh so yeah like that that really showed that he's suspicious the thing that actually surprised me here is that jigen was also fujiko's person like you know fuji one of fujiko's men who, who is kids meal so basically fujiko <laughs> planted two person you know <laughs> two 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 of her own men in rupan's team like if someone like if one of them gets like you know exposed another one will obviously be there and that's how it worked in the end um kids meal gets exposed with the whole uh password thing you know like uh tasu kills him which now i realize why he did that at that moment i wasn't able to i i, I was like why is why did he suddenly shoot him now i realize why he did that uh, because you know if somehow kids will actually say something that wait it, it, like you know like this guy here he's he's also like you know working with fuji like obviously if if like you know if 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 his uh, life is in danger he would obviously like spill everything out so that's what tasu was probably uh being concerned about that's why as soon as you know it seemed that he's getting scared and rupan was putting pressure on him he just shot him okay wait a minute no wait um no 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 just a sec um i'm Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Okay, uh, I was kind of checking that portion out again. Um, yeah, um, <clears throat> Kizumi tries to stand up and shoot Rupan. Rupan shoots his hand, which makes the gun fall. And after that, without a moment wasted, um, Tasu shoots him. And I'm guessing that's probably the reason why, because he was probably afraid that if uh, Kizumi gets captured and interrogated, he would probably spill the beans. So that's why he just shot him at that moment. And 
then like you know like uh, Fujiko is like oh the police is here you know you never get this and Lupin is also like yeah you'll also not get it and then they make a plan of actually getting the um, body back and that was a really well made plan you know it's kind of like similar to episode 1 with the whole like you know race car thing like, you know changing the track and changing the like you know making a duplicate and a decoy and you know like kind of using that here again they, that was really well done you know like they, they made a spare dummy truck <laughs> and just you know like separated both of them and again like when they made back it was the same and within that time they took the <clears throat> diamond okay um what's the diamond called it's called uh Kilim it's the star of kilimanjaro okay it's a diamond that vanished six months ago and uh, yeah then obviously like you know when <laughs> uh, when they stopped and when fujiko's there um fujiko's like oh look uh, behind you rupan looks behind them and like like the, the biggest mistake that rupan does here is actually handing that um diamond to um um what's his name tatsu <laughs> and at that moment fujiko comes in and distracts him uh, Tatsu throws it to Fujiko. Fujiko runs away with it on her bike. Tatsu tries to get on the bike and run, uh, like you know, escape as well. But obviously, this is going like you know, Jigen is here. Jigen just shoots him. And now here's what I think. I'm I'm thinking um, Fujiko probably anticipated this. She was like, you know what? If somehow Tatsu probably tr tries to come with me, uh, and Jigen doesn't shoot him, I'll just kick him out. I'm sure he, she probably planned something like that, <laughs> you know, but she didn't have to do anything because Jigen obviously shot him before that. And Fujiko probably anticipated that and he was like, let's, like, you know, Jigen will probably handle it. And yeah, he gets, uh, she gets her diamond. And yeah, she wins again in this episode as well. So yeah, that was episode number six and... Uh, like I have to say this episode was a little bit complicated and it, it, it took a little bit of time for me to actually realize but there were a few parts that I was really confused. I was like, wait, what is even happening? You know, <laughs> but then by the end of it, everything makes sense now. Yeah. Now that I'm like, you know, looking at everything uh, scene by scene, it makes sense. But yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to uh, Rupan the third episode number five and six so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll be back with two more rupan episode reaction next week uh same time so um, see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day